Welcome to the mix. I am Caleb Graham, and this is a reboot of many reboots. Today I'm going to be talking about the new show and a review of the film Ricky and the Flash. Then, my friend Olivia and I went to the Four Seasons this morning, and we had breakfast with the characters. You're going to get to see all of that, plus much more, here on the mix. Hello everybody and welcome to the very first episode of my new video blog called The Mix. I am Chris Graham and just a little bit about me. Um, I am currently in school for broadcast journalism. That is my kind of like my lifelong career goal is to be on TV talking about the news and talking about fun things going on in the world and everything getting information out there. Um, I really love people and I think that that's a lot of what being a journalist is, is you know talking to people, putting out the truth, putting out real information um, in a timely fashion so that people know what's going on in the world. And that's kind of like my goal as a journalist. Um, I kind of lean into the like broadcasting side too because I like to share my opinion, <laughs> um, which is kind of something that's a little bit not journalist. Um, journalists are usually, tend to be, are supposed to be more neutral. Um, and not really share their opinions, but it's kind of, I think, where the world is going and how my generation is. Like, we, we feel like our opinions matter and we want to get them out there. So that's kind of what I'm going to do with this show. Um, it's a reboot of my old video blog, Mix It Up, which was a reboot of a video blog before that called Gray and Oz the Video Blogs, which was a reboot of a video blog called Take a Bow that I did several years ago. Um, so I'm basically doing a reboot of a reboot of a reboot. <laughs> but <laughs> it's because I go all this time and don't get to do them because it's hard to do with work and everything in my life going on and it's hard to keep them regular. So it's been almost a year since the last time I did one of these things. So I'm really excited to do it again. Um, I changed the name of it so that it's a little bit easier to say and do and all of the like talk shows that I kind of base it off of are the something. There's the view, the chat, the reel, um, the talk, the five, all of those different ones, which is kind of what this is based off of because I like all those kinds of shows. The only bad thing is it's only me <laughs> as of right now. I've had co-hosts before, um, but right now it's going to just be me. So hope you don't mind hearing my voice a lot. Um, but anyway, a little bit more. I do work for Disney. I'm a performer there. Um, I'm an aspiring journalist, I'm also in school for broadcast journalism, and I'm doing these video blogs. So I'm very busy, and I hope that I'll get to do these at least once a week. I want it to be um, fun. The face of broadcasting is changing a lot. We're getting more and more things happening online, and more short video kinds of things. It gets a little bit more social media-ish as time goes on, so I want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of the change of scenery. Um, it's hard to get jobs in broadcasting without experience and or degree. So since I can't really get a job right now because I'm still learning, I'm kind of making the experience for myself by doing these kinds of videos. I'm doing all of it myself. I'm writing the stuff. Obviously, I have my notes here in front of me. I'm doing the videos myself. I'm editing them myself, everything by myself right now. So I'm kind of making the experience for myself, if that's even a thing. I don't know if I could put personal video blog on my resume or not. If you know anything about it, you can let me know and tell me. Um, I kind of want these to be like what I did before with Mix It Up. I want it to be like a community, not just me sitting here talking. I'd love to have people call in for co-hosting. I'd love to have people tweeting me, writing messages, everything so that I can read it and it can be more of a conversation than just me sitting in front of the camera right here talking <laughs> and wasting my breath. Um, I really like people and I like talking to people, so let's make this a community. But I need your guys' help for that, okay? So you have to share it everywhere and talk about it and post it on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Periscope and all the other stuff. Post it everywhere. Um, so I hope that you'll join me and we are going to have a lot of fun. And now it's time for our break. I'll be right back. See you soon.
Hi, welcome back. So, a couple of days ago, I went to go see the movie Ricky and the Flash with Meryl Streep and Kevin Conn. And it was a fun night. Hadn't really planned to see it, but it was the next one playing, and I had wanted to see it, so we went. And I have a summary that I got off of Google I'm going to read. It's been a roller coaster ride for Ricky Rendazzo, played by Meryl Streep. A one-time wife and mother of three who left her family behind to follow her dreams of rock and roll stardom in California. Now, the singer and guitarist must face the music when she returns home to Indiana to reconnect with ex-husband Pete, who's played by Kevin Klein, troubled daughter Julie, engaged son Josh, and younger son Adam. Filled with regret, Ricky hopes to find redemption for all the bad choices that she made in the past. Would you please welcome Meryl Streep. <laughs> Just <kidding. Yes. laughs> Maybe one day. Um, it hasn't got the best um, reviews and or ratings. I have some reviews that I'm going to read here in just a second. Let me get this open. Um, it has had a 54% out of 100 rating on Metacritic. 62% um, on Rotten Tomatoes. Robert Ebert ga gave it a 2 out of 4. And it got a 6.3 out of 10 on IMDb. So it's kind of gotten about half of a, a 10 um, on all of the reviews. Um, written by Diablo Cody. It wasn't a bad story. Um, it was kind of something that we've already seen before. Um, it hits home in a couple of places. That's my computer. Um, but it was just kind of, like I said, something we've seen before. You know, somebody is depressed and the parent has strayed away and they're coming back to redeem themselves. It's all, I feel like we've seen it all before. However, Meryl Streep is fantastic. Seeing her sing next to Rick Springfield was fantastic. So much fun. Um, a couple of reviews that it got, the um, Wall Street Journal said, music hath charms, but not enough to save the silly movie from itself. Mm. It's a little harsh, but Rolling Stone said, it's a kick watching Meryl Streep rock out on guitar and vocals in Ricky and the Flash. New York Times said, a gentle-hearted baby boomer guilt trip family drama. It's true. <laughs> um, Washington Post, I think, had the nicest one. The inviting yet ultimately too, fame, too tame dramedy about a hard-bitten wannabe rock star has much to recommend it. Chiefly and earthy, pleasingly musical turn by Meryl Streep in the title role. That's a pretty good representation, I think, of my opinion of it. It, was, it wasn't it was as dramatic as I wanted it to be. Oh my gosh, are you serious? They had the weed eater right outside my front door. I apologize for that. That's what happened when you weekends and at your house. Anyway, we'll just speak up a little, huh? Um, I enjoyed it. It was fun. Um, but again, it could have been a little bit more dramatic. They could have added more to it. They had, it was kind of like they were trying really hard to get all the different cultural boundaries in there. Um, but I mean, it was good for what it was. I enjoyed it. It was fun. It had a happy ending, you know. So it was a good time. Um, you should go see it if you, if you want to get your own opinion. If anything, just go see it for the music because the performances were fantastic. They had a lot of full on musical performances with Meryl Streep and Rick Springfield singing by each other in their band, which the band that she sings in is called Ricky and the Flash. The girl that played her daughter, Julie, though, her name is Mamie Gummer, I think is, I'm sorry if I say that wrong, but she looked a hot mess most of the movie. But that's the part that kind of hit home for me. I have a friend who's going through a divorce right now and it's been, it's been rough for her and however, she hasn't She's got a little bit more oomph than this character did. She literally stayed in the same clothes for most of the movie, and her hair had this big, like, ratty <laughs> mess in the back. It was really gross. But anyway, go see Ricky in the Flash, and we will be right back with me at the Four Seasons. Which is a Hey everybody, it's me, Caleb Graham. Hey, if you want to see more from me and all of my Caleb shenanigans, including videos from The Mix, other stuff that I post on YouTube, and blogs, news posts, pictures, photos, anything, go to my website, www.gotvonline.com. See you there. Hey everybody, and welcome back to The Mix. I am Caleb Graham. So earlier today, I went to one of my favorite places in Orlando. It's new. It's the Four Seasons Resort at Walt Disney World. And I had breakfast at Ravello with Goofy and his pals, Mickey and Minnie Mouse. And if you've never been there, it's a great, it's a great dining option. It's kind of expensive. You have to pay for valet and all that kind of stuff. But it's well worth the price. You get fantastic character interactions with the characters. The food is probably the best breakfast I've ever had at any buffet 
anywhere. They have specialty things every day. There's fantastic stuff. They have $15 bottle of mimosas. They have a juice bar. They have omelet station. They have all this stuff. Today there was this bread pudding made with cream cheese and guava. It was so good. Oh gosh, so much of it. They have these things called bombolonis or bombolinis or something. It's like these little donuts. You know when you go to the Chinese buffet and they have those donuts with the sugar all over them? Well, it's those and they're stuffed with Nutella. Amazing. Um, my omelet was fantastic. They had this chicken sausage frittata that was great. They have juices. They have everything there. It's fantastic. Plus, you get free pictures with PhotoPass. I'm totally talking all this stuff up, by the way. Disney is not paying me to do this, and neither is the Four Seasons. I'm just telling you all this stuff because I love it. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking about it and let you actually get a glimpse of what it is. Take a look. Good morning, Wendy. So good morning. We're at the Four Seasons. Ravello, so Olivia, we're about to eat the best breakfast ever. <laughs> This is Stephanie. Good host, morning! Hostess with the mostess. So there you have it, a look at Ravello at the Four Seasons, Breakfast with Goofy and His Pals. We'll be right back. For more of mine and Olivia's trip to Breakfast with Goofy and His Pals at Ravello at Four Seasons Resort at Walt Disney World, visit my website, www.gotvonline.com. Hi everybody and welcome back to The Mix. So I have a lot of social media to tell you about. Um, I need you to go follow me, like, comment, post, reshare, all those things that you do on social media to get this out there so that I can get a little bit of people watching and involved in this because that's what I really want. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Periscope at Caleb Graham. Super easy. It's my first and last name, Caleb Graham, on all three of those platforms. Then you can go over to Facebook, facebook.com slash Caleb Graham Official. That's my page for me. Um, where I post, you know, these videos, pictures, all kinds of stuff, little blogs and blurbs and all that. Then everything, as far as videos and blog posts, I've been putting some of the stuff that I do for school on there on my website, gotvonline.com, which by the way, GOTV comes from the name of my former blog, Gray and Oz. I just shortened it to G-I-O, like that. <laughs> so, gotvonline.com. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, I'll be able to do this again very soon, and there'll be many more of these videos. I want you to have some fun today and add something new to the mix, and we will see you very soon. Bye. Thanks for watching.